everyone, what better way to end a week than to do a tech tip? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to recover your CenturyLink email password. Check it out. Once again, if you are new here, we do a lot of how-to videos, tutorial videos, and videos just like this one. We do new content every Thursday. As with any beginning steps to recover a password or reset a password on any given email provider, what you're gonna to want to do, of course, is go to the website. In this case, I'm gonna use Google Chrome and we're gonna go on over to CenturyLink.net. So, but you can go ahead and open up any preferred browser that you like, whether it's Internet Explorer, uh, Microsoft Edge, or Firefox, those are usually the main. And then we're gonna go ahead, you can type in, you can Google search email or CenturyLink email login, or you can just go to directly to CenturyLink.net, as you can see, I've been here before. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to CenturyLink.net. That's gonna take us to their homepage. Up here in the top right-hand corner, you'll notice a little email button that's got a little envelope and says email. Go ahead and left click on that. And this is going to take you to the login page, which I'm sure you have seen if you're having some trouble logging in. What you're gonna to want to do from here is come on down to Forgot Password. Click on Forgot Password and it's gonna take you to this next page that's gonna to want to verify the CenturyLink email address that you're trying to use. So you'll want to make sure that you have that information. If you do not, you may want to contact CenturyLink directly and say, hey, you know, what is my uh, email address for the CenturyLink email address? And they'll usually be able to provide that for you. And then of course, you're gonna want your phone number. Now, you may have a similar situation where you're like my account is where I don't have a home phone, but I do have the CenturyLink email provider as for my internet, but I still have a phone number. They still attach a phone number to the account, whether you have a landline or not. So you want to make sure that you have a phone number. And then of course, once you've got this information filled out, you're gonna to wanna to fill out the CAPTCHA. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this information right now. And if I remember correctly, you're gonna to wanna to put in the phone number in here without dashes. So it's just gonna be the straight 10 digit key or 10, 10 digit phone number without any type of dashes. And then of course, you're gonna to wanna to put in your CenturyLink email. And then again, fill out the CAPTCHA down here. Um, if you are having a hard time reading the CAPTCHA, you can always hit the little refresh button right here that says get a new challenge that will uh, give them, that'll allow them to give you a new uh, CAPTCHA so you can verify that you're not a robot. So once you've got that information, go ahead and click on next. You may think for a little bit and then it's gonna ask you what is the name, or it's gonna ask you, I should say, what is the, uh, your security question? In this case, what is the name of the, the town your first elementary school is in? So I do have the answer to that, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in that. And then at this point, you can go ahead and choose a new password. As you can see right now, the password must be, between, must be between eight and 32 characters and use two of the following. It's gotta be either an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, a number or a symbol. So any two variation of that will work perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my new password. Once I've got that confirmed, I'm gonna go ahead and, go ahead and actually click the button that says confirm. Uh, apparently I typed them in wrong. So if they, don't, if they do not match, you're actually gonna get this little message right here that says your, your new password and confirmation must match. So let's try this again. And confirm. Hey guys, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. Leave any kind of comments or feedback in the comment section below the video. And also, of course, while you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We do new videos every Thursday. We will see you next time.